Welcome uh, YouTubers and Hobson Xeno enthusiasts. Uh, today I just want to do a very quick video um, and this is coming about because of an announcement which appeared yesterday on Facebook uh, reference to Xeno on the battery issues that have been ongoing for well, a year or more. <laughs> um, Hobson posted last night, uh, it says 21 hours ago here, a little bit about batteries and um, point three in particular brought, was brought to my attention uh, it says, in order to cope with this prob pr problem, we will soon launch a new firmware which will indicate uh, a regular battery capacity. Now, I'm not sure whether this is the same update as they have already produced on the 9th of November this month, but um, I produced a video about battery issues, which some of you may have seen, and that was published on the 9th of November, and that was the same day that they released a new version of flight controller software or firmware which was 1.2.04 now I loaded that the next day after I'd done the video and lo and behold there's a new feature in there which indicates that the battery is not up to power uh, or up to standard now it's very very um, ambiguous what it's supposed to tell you because it fires on all my batteries it'll fire on a brand new battery um, so it's not, it's not going to tell me anything because my test proved that my batteries are okay-ish. Um, this message, which I'll show you, um, I just run it a few minutes ago, and I'll pop it up here on the screen. But there's a new message which goes something along the lines of battery voltage is too low, please recharge the battery. And that's with the battery showing at 85%. Um, so this is obviously looking at individual cell voltages within the, cop uh, in the quadcopter itself. And reporting on that. So whether this Hubson message that they put out last night, and they said they're going to release a new firmware tomorrow um, to provide that message, yet it's already been there for two weeks. So I'm confused, maybe everyone else is confused, as to what's going to happen tomorrow. So I'll be very interested to see if they first of all release a new firmware of any description, and maybe some a new app um, for the phones. But um, it'll also be interesting to see what function they're going to provide other than this very, very ambiguous and fairly useless message. Uh, because if everybody abides by this and just um, brings a quadcopter back as soon as they say it, well, you're not going to fly for very long because it's going to happen um, almost as soon as you take off in many instances. Anyway, that was a quick update. Um, have fun and come tomorrow. We'll be able to um, see one way or the other what Hubson are actually going to provide. In the meantime, check your batteries or disable the um, battery protection is really the only surefire way of ensuring that your quad won't drop out of the sky. All the best, see you all again soon.